to let you just turn her around a little bit and show off a little bit of her little saucy spicy. Then I'll set the then I'll set the camera up. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm going to set this down and come and introduce myself and you. All right. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi, I'm Anne Marie, a member. Oh, time you're right in the shot. <laughs> we'll start it over. <laughs> No, that's okay. We have a photo bomber. Do you want one at a time or both? Yeah, one at a time. Oh, okay. If we could. I'll start it over. You know what? I'm going to let it go because we're here for progress, not perfection. Awesome. Hi. <laughs> I'm Anne Marie here with another installment of I Signed Up for the Show Team. What's next? We are here with another entry in the Meet the Breed series. I am here with Tammy and her very pretty mare whom I'm going to let her introduce and tell you what breed she is and what she does with her. Well, this is my beautiful saddle red Lucy. Her registered name is Uncaged. She comes from very good breedings, um, all the way back to Wing Commander. And uh, I show her three-gated country pleasure. Um, she used to be a three-gated show pleasure saddle seat horse. Um, Saddlebreds go all the way back to the 1800s. It's um, the so horse America made. Uh, they're originally, when they were made, they were crossed with a Narragansett trotter and a thoroughbred. And then later in the 1800s, they were crossed with the Morgan oh. and thoroughbred. Oh, really? And theirs were, yeah the cross became the American Saddlebred. Right, right, and that's why it's an American Saddlebred, not just Saddlebred, it's an American-made horse. Okay, it's the horse and with American Morgan, made. mix in their double, you know, right. double, so. Right, and the Saddlebred is known for its long, curvy neck. Let's see if I can get her to pull it up here a little, get a little more in the frame. Ooh. Down, down, wow, sand. Down. <laughs> Down. She says it's snowing. I don't want to see it. Right up here for the curve. Yes. They're supposed to have wide set eyes. Right here. Very wide set eyes. And their ears should be set very close on top of their head. Okay. Close and pointy. <laughs> close and pointy. Yeah. No, she doesn't have a forelock. No. Um, Saddlebreds in the saddle seat division are shown with a shaved forehead. forehead. Okay, but she's got a mane. And so some of the three gated horses I've seen don't have a mane. What's the difference? Equitation horses are shown without a mane. Equitation horses, so that's judged on the rider. Right. And a pleasure horse then is judged on the horse's gait and conformation right. and things like that. So you mentioned country pleasure and a different kind of pleasure. What's the three gated? Yes. A three gated show pleasure is shown with um, full weighted shoes. Okay. With a pad in the middle. Okay. And country pleasure is shown with a lighter shoe. Or barefoot? Uh, yeah, they can they be shown barefoot. barefoot. Yeah. So the, the gated, you want a little bit of weight, so they're giving you a little bit more action. A lot, more like, action. A lot more action. And right. then should you do a walk, a trot, canter? Do you do a hand gallop? No. No, no, no. not in pleasure. That's, no. That would be untoward. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> so now how have you ridden her otherwise? Do you, do you take her out on trails? Do you barrel race her? Do you halt her? Showmanship? I halter her. Okay. Yep, she is my, uh, my grand champion halter horse. She is. Yes. Well, congratulations, yes. Lucy. And this past summer was our first debut. So we also won um, grand champion in pleasure. Oh my gosh, so, so exciting. Yeah. I want to go back to Halter uh, for just a moment and what you just showed Lucy doing, the way you stood her up. What is that called and why do you do it? It's called parking out. Okay. And it's, it's just part of their confirmation. They must stand there and they must stand quiet. Uh huh. Which she does when she's <laughs> in the show. <laughs> Do you, do you stick treats in your pockets like dog trainers do? <laughs> it shows I don't. At yeah. home when we're, when we're working yeah. and practicing, yeah. I do. In, earlier but you actually, mentioned that you, know. you have taken her out on the trails just to kind of, 
have a little fun with her. Yes. So she's not always just in the arena working and whatnot. No, so. we make sure we mix everything up so she don't get sour and bored right. and all right. that stuff. So how tall is she? She's 16 half. 16. And how old is she? She's five years old. Is she? Oh, she's a baby? Yeah, she's a young one. <laughs> and how long have you had her? A year and a half. Oh my gosh, so you've had quite a period, quite a lot of success. I have. As far as showing goes, I mean, success is determined in different you know, criteria, but at, on the show scene, that's really, really, really cool. So, yes. um, well, anything, oh, you know what? She's in a double bridal. Tell us about that, or a full bridal. Well, saddlebirds are shown in a double bridal. Okay. Um, hey, you, what are you doing? Oh, I'm playing. What are you doing? Yeah, she's mouthy still yeah. in the bridle. Um, little snaffle bit called a bradoon. Okay. And that bit raises their head up in the air okay. for the height, because you want a lot of height in the bridle. And then the curve, the curve bit brings their nose in to get the arch. So on the up and in. Okay, yes. all right. Yeah, so you don't want them up and sticking with the nose no. out. You want to have that, the leverage right. on the curve to bring it in. So this one raises. Okay. And this one tucks. Oh, okay. That you know what? That makes sense. And I didn't I didn't know that even despite the fact that I had ridden the set of it for a couple of years. But yeah. Um, yeah, she's very, very pretty good. What are your goals for her? What are you looking forward to with her? Well, for one, a lot more fun. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. She is, she's a lot of fun to ride. Uh-huh. Um, I fell in love with the saddlebra at a young age. My first horse was a quarter horse Arabian sure. mix, and um, I grew up in Milwaukee, and I was nine years old when I got my first horse, and around 12 is when I spotted my first saddlebra at the barn. Yeah, yeah. And that was all it took, and I've had saddlebrads ever since. That's really, they're, they're pretty <laughs> fancy, they're pretty cool. They are. So. But at my age, and with a young one, they're getting a little... <laughs> oh, well, believe me. Well, I, I'm old and got an oldie but goodie, but yeah, he'd been out on pasture for a couple of years. So, well, is there anything else you want to tell us about American Saddlebreds? Or, and or Lucy, in particular? Well, the American Saddlebreds can do anything any other horse can do. They've been out there reining. Um, Jumping. They're avid jumpers. Yep. Um, they carts. Are, yes, they pull her carts over there. Oh, so are <laughs> ours. Cool. Yeah. Maybe we go karting. Right. Yeah. Um, the American Saddlebred Association has shows for hunters, Western Pleasure. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got everything out there. They can do everything. They run speed. For the whole thing. I, well, we you know Bill Shatner has been a big yes. proponent of Saddlebred. So. Yes. He's, All right. He's been one of the persons I follow and just... Yeah, I think he just had a birthday, like he's 192 or something, yeah. but... Yeah, yeah. he's 90-some years old. 90-some plus, yeah, so... All right, Tammy, thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate You're it. You're very welcome. And Lucy, you did a really good job. So if you have any questions about Saddlebreds, or Lucy in particular, particular, you can leave them in the comments and either I'll answer them or Tammy will. So will. thank you very much and we'll see you next video. Down. Down. Stand. Whoop. Whoop.